anytime as, as, as an actor working in television on a procedural show, anytime I get to do character stuff is like, that's a, that's a good day for me, you know? And so, and, and, and that being said, um, Peter and the team uh, in the writing room actually give us, comparatively, they give us a lot of, of character stuff for a show like this. And so, uh, you know, I mean, the stuff with Mom was, was, when I read the script, I was like, what does he say? What does he say? You know, because on the, sorry, I should explain, on the actual script for the final episode in season two, it, it said McGarrett's final word was dot, 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 dot. And I was like, what is it? I honestly didn't have any idea. And then they told me, I was like, that's excellent. I mean, it opens up so many new avenues for story and for emotional kind of new mo emotional arcs for me and my character. And and it's great because whatever we do in the in the week to week crime story stuff, I mean, it's fueled by whatever else is going on in our lives. And that's what makes the kind of interesting parts in the show interesting is like, like you said, you know, whatever's happening here in our friendship and whatever is kind of behind the blah, blah, blah that we have to say. And we just did a scene yesterday um, where we're where in the HQ and something's going, you know, and he's he just starts having a go at me. We're, we're talking about some scenes, some whatever the crime is going on. Yeah. And Dan, I was like up in my grill about something, my tattoos, and I'm like, what? And it's, and it's got nothing to do with the scene, you know, it's all to do with what's happening with Grace and with Rachel and, and so that's the stuff that makes it, not only does it make it more fun to play, but it makes it, it's real life, you know, I mean, that's what happens, you know, however, however you are, we're never the same every day. Our moods are affected by, you know, burning our mouth on our hot tea while our co-star is talking because we feel like we need to upstage him. Things like that, you know, like we'll argue for two hours now after that. I miss LA, I, I love LA. And I don't. I always, you know, where I want to, where I want to be. But being there, it's really cool. All the, all the kind of, the crap of, that comes with LA, it doesn't exist there. You know, you just kind of wake up and go outside and don't really have to put clothes on and go surfing and do jujitsu and come home and write or work or do whatever you want to do. It's a very, um, it's, it's, I'm it's not pretty a, healthy much of a life, relaxer. Right? But even in in working, not necessarily doing the show, because that's you feel like you're you could be anywhere when you're actually working. But the the, the downtime is it's 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 very conducive to whatever you want it to be for. If you want to relax, it's relaxing. If you want to work and get a lot done, you you, you can. You know, it's interesting is as as a sort of transplant from Australia. You know, many years ago, L.A. I mean, of course, there's, there's natives like Scotty who who were born and raised here in L.A. But L.A.'s one of the main differences with <clears throat> between LA and Hawaii for me, and I, I love LA. You know, I was kidding before. I, I lived here for a long time. I really like coming back, and I have a house here, etc. But LA is kind of full of a lot of people that are here because they want to get somewhere else, whereas Hawaii is full of people that want to be in Hawaii. And so that kind of the zeitgeist is different. The general kind of feeling is different. It's healthy. It's kind of happy. People work out in LA because they want to be like. You know, look at people work out in Hawaii because they want to live longer and be with their family, you know, for more years. They also don't want to get beat up by other Hawaiians. That's true, <laughs> too.